had a need of making a couple of keychains. Uh, so for something simple like this, uh, that can be used as giveaways or gifts or what have you, uh, I tend to make a small pile of them just because more than half of the time is uh, spent just setting up machines. So if you're gonna set it up for one, you might as well set it up for a bunch. Uh, so I'm gonna make 20 or 30 of these, especially since the material cost on these is essentially nothing. So we start off at the scrap wood pile uh, and find some maple and walnut. Walnut is such a nice wood to work with and maple is great for laser engraving because of the high contrast, right? It's nice and white and it comes out black on the, on the laser engraver. So we start off by just milling everything down to pieces that are about half an inch by half an inch. Um, I don't even know how many I'm making in truth be. I just grab some scrap wood and I'm gonna mill it all up and we'll see, see what we wind up with. Uh, once all the pieces are dimensioned correctly, we cut them to length. I'm using my cross-cut sled here with a stop block attached at about three inches. Uh, the dimensions obviously don't really matter, it's just kind of whatever feels right to you. If you do not have a cross-cut sled, uh, I strongly recommend building yourself one or getting one. Uh, they're incredibly useful, especially for cutting smaller parts like this. I prefer to do them on the cross-cut sled versus a miter saw. I just feel you've got a lot more control and you don't have pieces that may go flying around somewhere. So if you don't have one, just do a YouTube search. There's a million and one videos about how to make one of these things. But yeah, super useful. And then we have a whole pile of them. I think there was about 30 here in total uh, once I cut everything up. After that, it's uh, off to the sander. Uh, I'll start at the belt sander and just do each long side. And then uh, you'll, you will see my hands drop out of the picture here, but there's a little disc sander in front of it. Uh, and I just do the two ends. I also will round over each of the ends uh, just like that just to make it a little smoother uh, on the ends and a little rounded so it feels a bit better uh, in your hand. The belt sander is at about uh, I think it's an 80 grit belt that I've got in there and we'll, we'll finish off with some hand sanding after this. Uh, I won't bore you with watching me sand all 30 of them so we'll just fast forward. So this is uh, just the hand sanding stuff. I'm starting off with 120 grit there on the left and then 150 grit will be next and 220 will be last so again I'm just doing all the sides and the ends and then I'm also going to uh, just do the corners the long corners as well just to smooth them over to make it feel a bit better when you're holding it and again I won't make you watch me sand all 30 of these I will fast forward because sanding isn't fun doing it never mind watching it Kind of like watching grass grow, I guess. Next is assembling a few chains. These come in three parts. Uh, the ring you attach your keys to that has a little chain attached to it. Uh, there's an eye screw that screws into the keychain, and then a little connecting link. Uh, this is fairly difficult because the parts were so, so small that once I got a process worked out, it actually goes pretty fast. Uh, that's a box of about, I think, about a hundred of them. Uh, I just bought it off of Amazon for some ridiculously cheap price. But uh, I figured I'll throw a few of these up on Etsy and see if I can sell a couple of keychains and, you know, give them away for Christmas or whatever. Like I say, it's just for the 10 or 15 bucks it costs for the hundred, it didn't make sense not to get them, especially since I was going to be making uh, a little pile of, of blanks. Then it's off to the laser engraver. Since I'm engraving all four sides, I set up two stop blocks with some mask, just with some masking tape to hold them in place. Uh, so when one side was done, I could just rotate the keychain and it would stay in the same spot relative to the other face so that when I was engraving them, they all started from the same, the same place. I bought this little laser engraver to play with about a year or so ago, uh, just to learn on it. A few hundred bucks again off of Amazon and certainly nothing fancy, but it's been fun to use. It's been a good learning experience. After that, it's a little bit of finishing. I'm finishing these with Danish oil. Uh, I like Danish oil just because it does provide a harder finish uh, for a bit of protection and because it is a keychain and it's going to get banged around a little bit. Um, but at the same time, it still has a nice non-artificial feel to it once it's fully dried. Varnish is okay too. I've done these with spray varnish before, uh, but it does feel a little artificial to me and that's just a, a personal preference. So uh, for these ones, I'm using the Danish oil. Yeah. 
And lastly, I'm just going to drill a little hole in the end here to get the eye screw started. These things are so small that even my smallest drill bit was making a hole that was too large. So I'm just starting a bit of a hole to have the screw, uh, or to give the screw some place to sort of catch on to. And then I'm just screwing it in without a pilot hole so that it has a good, strong grip. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. Bye for now.